cooling your hab is a slightly more challenging problem than warming it. We'll begin with a wall cooler. But a wall cooler is a slightly more complicated device. It requires some additional work beyond what it took to set up the wall heater. So on the face of it, the wall cooler looks very similar. And if I just place it down here so you can have a look at it, you'll see it's got a power point on the bottom and a switch on the front. But what it has that the heater didn't have is a pipe outlet here. And we need to connect that pipe to something to cool it. So let's dismantle that. And we'll need some pipes, which we have in there. Now, early game, you will not have any steel, which means you can't build radiators. Radiators accelerate the rate at which pipes gain or lose heat from their environment. But they are made primarily of gold and steel, or well, entirely of gold and steel. You can't make steel until you have a working furnace, but you may have a heat problem sooner than that, depending on what world you're playing on. What we can do is we can place pipes which will still lose heat or gain heat from their surroundings. But we just need to accept that that's going to take longer and it's going to require a longer run of pipe to work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place the wall cooler and we're going to place it right here with the pipe pointing upwards and the power pointing downwards. We'll connect the power. And we'll pick up these pipes. Now the first piece of pipe is easy. That is going to be a corner pipe. It's going to connect to the top. And it's going to rotate so it's facing backwards. The reason we placed the cable straight along the top and dropped it down was to make sure that we could place this pipe at this angle. Because a straight wire across here can be passed by a pipe going at 90 degrees to it. Next we need to come outside. A pipe alone is not going to do anything. The cooler is not sucking the atmosphere from the base into the pipe. What it's doing is using the contents of the pipe as a coolant. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to drop down. So I'm going to now build on top of this. I'm going to build a structure of pipes. This will need to be somewhat larger when you don't have radiators. Once you have radiators available to you, you can save some pipe um, because it will diffuse faster although this is not a very large structure and you'll notice I've left one piece here and that's because these pipes right now are currently empty and we can prove that by looking at them with the atmosphere analyzer there is nothing whatsoever in those obviously they're capped at the ends they're a vacuum that's great, but the wall cooler will not operate. And if we turn that wall cooler on now, you'd see that switch would flash yellow. It requires a pressure of at least 5 kPa in these pipes. The higher the pressure, the more effective the wall cooler can be at passing temperature into the pipes. However, the higher the pressure, the more gas that is in there, and therefore the longer it will take through simple thermodynamics for it to cool back down again. So there is a sweet spot which we try and reach. We've run out of power. There is a sweet spot we try to reach, um, which is around about um, two to 500 kPa pressure in those pipes. The first thing we will need will be a canister. Actually, we can, we can skip the canister if we're very short on iron, but I'm gonna print a canister. And we need, more importantly, we need the canister storage. Be careful when these come out. Both of them expand slightly as they pop out of the machine. If you're standing too close, they can cause uh, damage to your suit. You see what I mean. So let's take those in each hand. And then we need to get up to the top here. So we're going to fit the canister storage. 
you'll see it's a bit of a tight fit but hopefully we can fit it on the space we've left here otherwise we'll need an extra bit of pipe I can't get the angle to go right now what are you doing we can mount it vertically um, maybe I should have just done that um, this is being very silly now there we go so you can mount it vertically like that and actually whoops it's the wrong button after all that um, actually that's quite a good way of saving some space um, so you could mount it vertically obviously it needs some pipe to connect that um, which I've left in there press C so it just snaps okay so now we've got a canister storage and we can place a canister in there and the contents of that canister will balance to pressurize this pipe that's amazing but this canister is empty and the reason we've printed a spare one and you don't need this immediately is later on you might want to top these systems up but in the short term where have we got some gas well by now you'll see we've got a reasonable amount of gas in our waste tank and it's mostly carbon dioxide which by luck happens to have a very high specific heat capacity so it's actually pretty good as a coolant so if I drop that tank on the ground for a moment and look at it and you'll see I've used the spare tank to swap back in so that I don't suffocate while I'm doing this because otherwise the air cycling system in the suit can't work so if I look at this canister you'll see actually it's got a mix of gases in it and that's because um, I had my suit obviously open um, inside the hab at some point um, but there's a, a decent quantity of CO2 in there there's also some nitrogen oxygen in fact there's mostly oxygen and some nitrous oxide but the actual contents really doesn't matter it's not going to mix with the atmosphere in the base we just want some gas to pressurize this system so I'm going to place that in there and you'll hear the hiss and you'll see this is now pressurized it's not as high as I'd like but it's pressurized to 87 ish kPa but it's at 300 degrees but you can see that temperature dropping really quite quickly the reason it's so hot by the way is from me um, welding inside near hot air um, which has generated waste heat which gets dumped into here so this will take a bit of time to cool down however in the meantime come in here and we turn this on and it's currently flashing an error it's actually not flashing um, but the reason that it thinks that there is an error and it's not flashing because the external power has gone off the reason that it thinks that there is an error is that that gas is too hot so let's wait for that gas to cool down So once that gas has cooled down, and then come inside, and we can run the cooler. And you'll see, as we move towards it, it's bringing the air temperature down. Not as quickly as the heater was bringing it up, but that's the means by which you can cool your hab. Greenhouses do tend to generally build heat up because the heat of the sun comes in, so a cooler is important. However, they're not that efficient at this stage. As soon as you can make steel, I recommend adding radiators. So if I come back outside, take some radiators add some radiators to these pipes just place them on the straight parts that will allow for much faster heat transfer with the environment that will cool these pipes down very much faster assuming of course the outside temperature is lower than the inside temperature of your base if it's higher you'll find cooling will probably be one of the biggest challenges in the game <laughs> 